Now on Spotlight on Education. There are 3.6 million teachers in the U.S., only five selected nationally for a prestigious Hall of Fame, including one from our school district. Several seniors dress for success, what they did that earned them a brand new business suit and greater confidence to achieve postgraduate success. What is ACE and why is Palm Beach County considered the number one school district in the world when it comes to the program? We're gonna break down why it is such a big benefit for students. Hi everyone, I'm Rick Blackwell. Welcome to Spotlight on Education. Over spring break, Cypress Trails Elementary and New Horizons Elementary underwent renovations to their media centers and administrative offices thanks to proceeds from the penny sales tax. District schools receive half of the penny sales tax approved by voters in 2016. This is definitely your sales tax at work. Cypress Trails Elementary, right now we're into our final portion of this phase, which is the media center and the actual front office area. We've done the floors, we've redone the walls, the ceilings, every break that we have, summer break, Christmas break, now spring break, we've bitten off a little bit more to the point where we're uh, about 95% complete. We're at New Horizons Elementary School. We didn't have a whole lot of time to work on this, or Roebling, our uh, CM that's handling this project, immediately had the uh, floor stripped out Friday night so that they could hit the job hard Saturday. We're doing the flooring in the media center, replacing the VCT flooring, and the admin, we're doing uh, wall covering removal, painting of door frames. We're basically giving the school a facelift and we're trying to get about uh, 25 more years of good instruction and good learning environment for the children and staff of New Horizons. High fives are going out today to a team of five talented students from Atlantic Community High School. They place first in the 2019 Palm Beach County Regional Ethics Bowl. They competed in the tournament in which teams discuss ethical questions related to current social issues. The team from Atlantic High will go on to compete at the National Ethics Bowl tournament next month in North Carolina, and we wish them well. A routine pep rally turned into a celebration to honor a distinguished teacher at Suncoast High School. In a surprise announcement, Dr. Mary Jo Murray, who teaches math and calculus, learned she is being inducted into the National Teachers Hall of Fame. Annually, the honor is reserved for only five career teachers nationwide. our very last pep rally of the year and we were able to honor Dr. Mary Jo Murray for the National Teachers Hall of Fame. We had an inductee here at Suncoast, Dr. Mary Jo Murray, who's been teaching for 49 years and uh, she's going to be inducted into the National Teachers Hall of Fame in Emporia, Kansas. I'm just shocked. I'm overwhelmed. I'm really happy and I'm really excited to have this come to me at Suncoast, the best school in Palm Beach County. Was it a big surprise? Absolutely it was and so many people apparently knew about it except me. Teachers had shirts on, kids made posters, some kids wrote cards up, so they've known for a couple of days, and nobody gave me an inkling that it was gonna be me and it was gonna happen today. I'm completely surprised. Every year, the National Teachers Hall of Fame selects five teachers from across the nation, and they are only the best. And so Dr. Murray certainly qualifies for that. Over the years, there's only a handful from Florida. We're incredibly proud to have Dr. Mary Jo Murray as a part of our team and as a representative to the National Teachers Hall of Fame. The real thing is, my mother told me, who was a teacher herself, never retire if you still love your job. And I still love my job. The program Suits for Seniors is helping prepare high school students for success. Students in the school district of Palm Beach County who participate in the program receive a brand new business suit, and so much more. With a 1.0 grade point average just a few months ago, Palm Beach Lakes High School student Tatiana Fotios 
never expected she would be asked to step up Good afternoon, everyone. and deliver a speech about success. But Tatiana says the Suits for Seniors program changed her life. Her GPA has significantly improved and she gets emotional talking about her new future. And I will be going to North Palm Beach State after I graduate. Tatiana credits Gervonta Tay Edmonds and the program he founded, Suits for Seniors. Everybody thinks you all look amazing today, so look good, you need to feel good, and you need to perform good. The organization in 19 schools, many in Palm Beach County, runs an eight-week program. Community leaders come in each week with a motivating message and lessons about leadership. I just didn't think I was going to graduate on time, but then Tay like talked to us and he told us you can do whatever you set your mind to. Tatiana, one of 25 students participating in this Suits for Seniors graduation. Female graduates get a new business suit and pearls and male graduates get a tailored suit. In this day and age, there's not a lot of role models in our community. So I want them to be the role models starting now and then make sure the next generation can be role models as well. So we can break the cycle of poverty, but start making a cycle of leadership. Graduates shake hands with leaders in law enforcement, the business community, and politics. Suits for Seniors celebrates your achievements, your determination, and your success. The classes and the clothes paid for through donations to the organization an investment into the future of our community and country. It feels nice. You look nice, bro. Thank you. This is the last Suits for Seniors program this school year, but there will be several that will be kicking off the start of the next school year. It's a great program. You know, each year the school district hires between 16 and 1,800 qualified new teachers. To promote careers in education, the school district wants students and non-instructional employees to know about the Florida Future Educators of America Scholarship Program. I am, you know, Palm Beach County born and raised, went to Orchard View Elementary, Don Estridge. And it's really cool to be back here to teach. That was always my big dream. I really like helping people. I really love to learn and I really like showing and teaching what I've learned. I work at Olympia Heights High School and I'm from Mexico. Since I first came to the, this country, that's always what I wanted to do. I'm a language facilitator. I work for the ESOL department. I'm an assistant behavioral physical needs two at Jared Thomas Elementary. Very creative type of environment that I'm in. I work at Forest Hill High School and I'm an English teacher. The reason why I came into teaching is because I wanted to mentor um, high schoolers. My early childhood teacher, Ms. Englehart, was in, in charge of the FFEA club at school. She kind of looked at me and she's like, you need to apply for this because this is you. You have to not withdraw, you can't quit. Basically, it's all or nothing. I heard about the FFEA scholarship through one of my co-workers, a teacher. She told me that she actually was part of it and she encouraged me to apply for it. I just so basically just took a chance, filled out the application, and here I am taking the classes and about to be completed next year. It helped me pay for school. So throughout the whole time, they would give me some money that would go towards my education, which really helped. I got $750 a semester and they sent it straight to FAU so that I was able to you know, buy my textbooks, pay for some of my classes. As long as I promised I would come back and teach here, I was going to keep getting it. Well, while I was not able to go to school because of my status in the country, I wouldn't qualify for any kind of uh, financial assistance. So this has made a big difference for me. Why not get assistance from the same school district you came from to come back and pour into your community? I'm Palm Beach County born and raised. I'm a product of the school system. So of course I want to come back and give back to what kind of inspired me to, to come into teaching. There's nothing like fostering the love of reading, and Wellington Elementary recently had Literacy Night, which included activities for students from grades K through 5. The activities included students creating their own storyboards, designing their own chocolate bar wrapper, acting out characters during a reader's theater, and playing a game called Sight Word Pop. There was also a family book fair in which students and their families got to pick out their favorite books to purchase. Sounds like a 
great evening of fun. The Cambridge Scholar Award celebration took place in West Palm Beach. The ceremony honored 532 Palm Beach County school students for achievement in their ACE courses. Here's more on the program, created at the University of Cambridge in England. So we were taking land from the rich and giving it to the peasants throughout Russia. Welcome to ACE European History, one of 19 ACE courses offered at Wellington High School created through the renowned University of Cambridge in England. ACE stands for Advanced International Certificate of Education. What makes these classes special for students? They're going to go deeper into a subject and they're actually going to think of why something is happening. Wellington sophomore Emma Brewer in the front of this classroom and at the very top in the nation for the ACE general paper exam. For achieving the highest score in the U.S. Emma addressed this very large crowd at the third annual Cambridge Awards Night in West Palm Beach. Emma, one of 532 high school students in the district, honored at the awards ceremony for outstanding achievement in their ACE courses. Honorees given a certificate and congratulated by school board members and Superintendent Dr. Donald Fenoy. Administrators say Palm Beach County is the number one school district in the nation when it comes to ACE opportunities. You are truly our lighthouse district here in the United States. We look at Palm Beach as a district for all the others in the U.S. to emulate. The ACE program is popular because students can receive college credit for taking ACE courses. And an ACE diploma can qualify a student for the Bright Future Scholarship. That means four years of free tuition at a Florida public university. Emma says ACE classes will help her achieve her dream of becoming a clinical psychologist. You get to decide what you want to do in the rest of your life. It's all about you and your choices and your decisions. A world leader in education, the University of Cambridge, citing Palm Beach County as the best in the U.S. An ACE partnership in our schools. The ACE program is getting more and more popular in our schools. Well, kudos to Morikami Park Elementary, which has been named a 2019 National Magnet School of Excellence by Magnet Schools of America. Morikami Park Elementary offers the International Baccalaureate Primary Years Program to enhance academic achievement and promote enrollment diversity. The school also offers the study of world languages and cultures to enhance the international perspective. Mrs. Stacy Quinones, principal and Amy Mercier, magnet coordinator, will receive a National Magnet School of Excellence Merit Award during an award ceremony in Baltimore next month. Way to go. Spring break is about rest and relaxation. Of course, it's also about giving. Students from low-income families benefited from the help of several local organizations teaming up to assist them with food over the vacation. Schools across the district picked up pallets of food and distributed the meals to families at their schools. During the school year, we're providing breakfast and lunch and snacks and suppers so the kids come in and they can get fed. But during spring break, that's a different story. So during spring break, we are working with an organization called Living Hungry. We can't stand to think of these kids going hungry over spring break. So we partnered with the school district again this year. The school food service team invited all of the principals to come to my warehouse and everybody can take a pallet each. So principals came in their cars, gym teachers came, one whole basketball team team from Royal Palm Beach came in a bus and loaded the entire thing. This year we had 52 schools plus all the schools in the Glades who are participating in this program. Okay, that's awesome. Thank you so much. We're so grateful to the teachers and the principals that took time out of their day to be able to actually come and get this food for our students and bring it back and distribute it to their classes. We're so grateful for the partnership with Palm Beach County School District. We really couldn't feed and reach all of the families across all of Palm Beach County without this partnership. Take Stock in Children Palm Beach held its eighth annual Strides for Education Beach Bash Dash and Breakfast. More than 550 people participated in the two mile walk run at Loggerhead Park in Juneau Beach to help provide college scholarships to students in Palm Beach County. Beautiful. Beautiful A celebration of friends. Ah, oh, this is an incredible day. 
fitness, hey! and fun. At the 8th Annual Take Stock in Children Strides for Education Run Walk at Loggerhead Park in Juneau Beach. Take Stock for Education is a fantastic partner for us here in Palm Beach County. They do so much for so many kids, helping them get a leg up to really further their education. More than 500 people took off at the start of the two mile event. The whole thing is strides for education is, you know, making those small steps every day and big gains for the long run. Marie Sintelaire has made big gains thanks to Take Stock and Children. The organization has provided her with a $40,000 scholarship so she can attend Florida State. It's a great day and it's um, amazing to see all these people come together for a common goal and it's nice to be a part of this organization. School board member Marsha Andrews, a Take Stock and Children mentor, has seen the impact the organization makes on students. Take Stock provides that extra support for them to make it to college. It was fitting. The winner of the race, Matthew Ramos, a William T. Dwyer student who credits Take Stock and Children for helping him succeed in school. If it wasn't for this, I wouldn't be here. And it's just pretty cool that I get to win an event that sponsors me to go to college. All participants receive a medal and a high five for crossing the finish line. Proceeds from the event and a matching grant will provide Take Stock and Children with $240,000 to help students fulfill their dream to go to college. What a great morning along the ocean in Juneau Beach. Well, some Park Vista students were singing, Take Me Out to the Ball Game. We're going to tell you why the entire varsity and JV teams visited the spring training home of the Washington Nationals in West Palm Beach straight ahead on Spotlight on Education. You want the best for your baby, a healthy birth, a happy home. You want to prepare your child for school and see your graduate take on the world. Children's Services Council is here to help. For more than 30 years, we've championed Palm Beach County's children, and we've created something just for you. Our free Every Parent website and app connects families raising children in Palm Beach County to local tips and resources. Visit us today at everyparentpbc.org. Welcome back to Spotlight on Education. Beacon Cove Intermediate School celebrates the annual Let's Move, Commit to Change Physical Activity Challenge with a Dance and Exercise Party. Palm Health Foundation presents this annual challenge during the month of March, and the School District of Palm Beach County Administrators, staff, teachers, and students, they join in on the fun. The best part about this site at Beacon Cove is that we've been part of the Let's Move campaign ever since its inception in 2012. We get to teach them throughout the course of the year about good nutrition and healthy snacks and good eating and how exercise is really important for your body. If you do stay active, then your body will go stronger and you will be healthier. The culmination of this effort today just shows them that you, we can also have fun doing it. Well, Washington Nationals shortstop in 2011, Park Vista High School graduate Trey Turner, he's on the move. Trey is one of the best players in Major League Baseball, and recently he invited current members of the Park Vista High School baseball team to visit him during spring training in West Palm Beach. 
Trey Turner went from short, skinny Park Vista High freshman to Major League Baseball star. Current Park Vista players greeted Trey on the field in West Palm Beach. Let me, you know, work in real quick and then I'll come hang out with you guys. I'm just happy that they could be here. You know, I am happy that, you know, they're still there. They're still uh, sharing the joy. Trey talking about his old high school coach, Larry Greenstein, who is still the Cobras manager. Coach Greenstein has helped launch Trey and six other Park Vista students into professional baseball. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity to meet a real live uh, major league ball player who walked the same halls as they did and uh, played on the same uh, high school field as they did. These days, Trey takes the field 15 ballpark of the Palm Beaches, the spring training home of the Washington Nationals. Players got a glimpse of why Trey is considered one of the best shortstops in baseball. From fielding grounders to fielding questions from the students, Trey talked about overcoming obstacles. If you work hard, you put the work in, it's gonna, it's gonna work out in some way or another. And staying humble. You know, I'm on TV now and people think of me different, but I don't feel different. It's, it's inspiring. It's inspiring to be around him and just feed off the energy he gives. It's, it's motivating for us, for us to kill it at our game later today. Trey signed every autograph. Thank you, the boy. And then the whole group gathered for a team picture. Later, the team got to see Trey in action, and he even hit a home run in his first at bat after the visit. Past, present, park players enjoying their major league experience. Alma mater, indeed. Uh, it's just karma, man, giving back. A lot of the players told me they were inspired by Trey, so let's hope they have a great season. Straight ahead on Spotlight on Education, we talk a lot about hands-on learning. How about hands in learning? We're going to visit the school where a popular project is puppetry. Just ahead. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Getting that college education. What are you going to do? Graduate and take some office job? Be like everybody else. Or will you dare do something different? Like be a teacher. You could be my teacher. You got the skills. The smarts. Yes, you. You could be the teacher I never forget. That would be cool. Does that corporate job even have recess? What are you going to make of yourself? What are you going to make of me? When they test you, stand firm and move only when you hear the seatbelt click that says they're buckled in for the drive. Never give up till they buckle up. Welcome back to Spotlight on Education. Crystal Lake Elementary School is an A-rated school with hardworking students, great teachers, and a top-notch staff. Well, recently I visited the Boynton Beach School and wanted to share with you some of what makes Crystal Lakes so special. Crystal Lakes Elementary School unites staff, parents, and the community to create a child-centered environment of lifelong learners where all students achieve. I like Crystal Lakes Elementary because everyone's really nice here and it's a lot of fun. I love the teachers and our PTA is awesome and all the students here learn a lot. There's a bunch of different organizations and clubs that you can be in. They have a great staff and they make learning fun. Students love the hands-on projects at Crystal Lakes Elementary. In this case, it's hands-in. They're making puppets. Every puppet's going to be different. The children express their creativity and they learn how to work together. As we're allowed to do things that are out of the box, where we follow the curriculum, but we're allowed to be innovative and use different techniques. Yes, outstanding teachers using the latest technology. There are computers everywhere at this school. In this class, students shoot their own videos. They know how to take the footage and edit their own news stories. It's very complicated, but it's actually um, very fun to learn new things about, you know, technology and stuff. These kindergarten students enjoy computer time and story time. In China, pandas are sometimes called Da Xiang Mao, which means giant bear cat. Teachers instill in the boys and girls the love of reading. 
And at Crystal Lakes, it's really about the love of learning. From rocketry to building race cars, creating art, and singing songs. Here's a little song I wrote. You might want to sing it note for note. Don't worry. Be happy. Happy, healthy, a school with heart. And Crystal Lakes Elementary also features a wonderful after-school program where the children participate in several projects like gardening. Yay! Good job, guys. Here, boys and girls grow into the future leaders of tomorrow. Thanks to the administrators, teachers, parents, and students who make Crystal Lakes Elementary School such a wonderful place. The School District of Palm Beach County, your best choice. Do you have a story for us to cover or an event you'd like to tell us about? Drop us an email at goodnews at palmbeachschools.org. You never know, your story could be the next one we feature right here on TV. And that'll do it for this edition of Spotlight on Education, brought to you by the Education Network keeping you informed.